Whoa, um, classic color grading. How weird. It's been a bit, um, I think. I don't know. I don't remember the last time I actually used this grading. Anyway, uh, I have a shoot tomorrow. I usually have a shoot tomorrow a lot more often now, which is great because, you know, the thing, one of the videos I've been trying to shoot or kind of one of the series that I've been trying to shoot is kind of a, not necessarily what's in my bag, but like what I take on a pro shoot because I do, for me, uh, quite a bit of variety. So I do a lot of, well, mainly I do a lot of real estate, um, but I also do portraits, uh, family portraits, uh, product photography, and on occasion, well, not right now and not the past, like four or five months, um, events and such. But yeah, I always kind of take different things and I wanted to kind of put out my two cents of, you know, what I take and what I recommend for myself, not for you. Your mileage may vary, of course. I have a simple product shoot tomorrow. It's two hours, so I don't need that much stuff with me yet. I spoke to the client uh, when we were booking and getting everything hammered down. There's potential for needing a backdrop, but for this one, we are just gonna go with cameras in their warehouse space. So I'm not gonna need too much, but I still wanna go over what I will take. Let's, let's, go, over, let's go over here. My stuff's over here, let's go. As far as cameras go, I'm gonna use my work camera, the 7D Mark II, with the big old chunky battery on the bottom, mainly because I really hate changing out batteries in the middle of a shoot. Uh, this tends to last me about six-ish hours, give or take, depending on what I'm doing. With uh, photo slash video mixes, I'm usually able to get about six hours or so. Just photo, uh, I, haven't, I haven't run out of battery before, so couldn't tell ya. Oh yeah. Lens-wise, I think I'm only going to take my 28-135 f3.5 USM lens. Um, I will probably take the 50 as well, just in case. But um, I'm shooting big kind of furniture stuff, so you don't really need that much range. I just need something kind of wide and maybe something that can blur the the background a little bit more just in case. Lighting wise, I'm just gonna work with shutter time um, as opposed to bringing lights this round. If I need to bring lights next time, I will probably do that. But I tend to get away at playing with different shutter lengths and kind of HDR composites if I have to. So we'll play it by ear. But for now, taking this, probably the 50 mil as well. So let's just, let's just go ahead and take both these. And as far as everything else goes, the little odds and ends and things, I have a charger, two extra cards, CF and SD, two extra batteries, even though I don't ever need them, but just in case there's that one time I do, I always bring them. Same applies for the cards. Uh, I bring my multi-card reader pretty much every time, um, just in case I need to give something to the client or something else pops up that I need to either send to someone or post. Um, now I bring an extra homemade hand sanitizer. It's just basically alcohol. Uh, charging cable, extra headphones, extra wireless headphones. Um, these are for if I can wear them while I'm working, which is most of the time. These are for if I need to make any calls or need to do anything over the phone that involves talking, like a call. Uh, and of course, base tripod. Nothing fancy, just something to prop up camera. This, no, not this one, that, that camera over there. And as far as luggage is concerned, that all that stuff goes into my Lopro Pro Protactic 450 Mark II. Yeah, this is my work bag. I, if I can get away with the smaller one, I have the older uh, 450 or 350, sorry. It's just basically the smaller version of this, uh, which I outgrew rather quickly. So the upgraded slash updated bag is so much better in my opinion, just carries more stuff. It's a little bit more versatile with its size and 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 whatnot. But um, yeah, it's not gonna fill up this bag, luckily. Um, I like shoots like that where I don't have to bring a ton of stuff. They're kind of easy on my back, but it's important to have that versatility for other shoots. Uh, for example, when I do real estate, I have to take a couple different cameras, uh, my gimbal, this tripod, a bunch of extra batteries, a couple extra cards just in case, because I have filled up cards before. Uh, and sometimes, film camera, just in case. 
Um, but yeah, everything's gonna get thrown into here, all nice and neat how it's supposed to go. And then we will go to our shoot. And that's it. Just one shoot tomorrow, two hours. Not, not bad. All right, well, other than that, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this packed up because I usually do this right before my shoot. And I've tried to film right before I fill this bag or right before I go to my shoot, but it never works out. Cause I'm not always rushing, but you know, I kind of don't want to do this like an hour or two before I have to go to shoot. Cause I'm pretty focused on, you know, getting work done and whatnot. So glad I did this the night before getting into the habit of packing my bag the night before helps. Cause I can just get it all done. Take my time, load up my bag. Then in the morning, double check everything and not have to worry about it. So yeah, good times. I want to know uh, if you pro shoot, if you do any, like, don't even have to be pro shoots. If you go out and do projects for people, you know, professional work or just for fun, let me know what you take for certain things. Let's, let's, let's start with product photography to begin with. This, it's not a small product or anything like that. They're big, you know, like furniture pieces uh, for a warehouse. So that's a very specific case. I want to know, like, kind of the stuff you take, uh, what kind of lenses you, you tend to use, what kind of lenses you like to use. Uh, if you take extra batteries, if you take extra cards, uh, if you take a charger, or if there's something else, if there's something else that you take that you didn't see in this quick little video, I want to know, because maybe it's something I might want to start taking. I'm always open to uh, new things and bringing new things that might help expedite work or might just make things a little bit easier. Oh, one thing I didn't, I didn't go over, but in both my bags, actually in all my bags, there is always a lens cleaning golf. No matter what, because you never know. All right. Well, that's it. Uh, chat with me in the comments. I want to know what you bring. Let me know what kind of stuff that you like. Let me know what kind of stuff you like to shoot also, because it's kind of important. What kind of stuff you shoot for work, what kind of stuff you do for fun. All right. Like, share, subscribe, do that fun stuff. I will be back soon for another video. Okay, bye.